This is Savage Jim and this is my review on set number 4439, the Lego City Heavy Duty Helicopter. I picked up the set for about $50 at the local Lego store and uh, set number 4439 is a 393 piece set for ages 6 to 12 as you can see on the box over here. Uh, there are uh, five distinct uh, playing pieces. I'm sorry. Yes, five distinct playing pieces, I'm correct. Uh, the helicopter itself, uh, the uh, six-wheeler, uh, which, which the Ranger rides, and, uh, and three minifigures. Uh, this set does require four bags of uh, parts to put together, and uh, the assembly books, there are two of them. This is uh, book number two, book number one. Uh, I found this uh, set rather easy to put together. It wasn't. It didn't probably take me maybe uh, 45 minutes to an hour to do, and uh, I, I figure a child of a comparable age of around uh, 6 to 12 probably take them uh, probably similar if they just simply follow the the pictures. These are very easy to these are very easy to follow along. Well, without beating around the bush much, let's go ahead and start the review on the actual uh, pieces that come with the set. I'm going to go ahead and start with the six-wheeler and uh, the minifigs. Uh, you do you do receive, like I said earlier, three p uh, three minifigs. Uh, you have uh, this uh, uh, ranger kind of a looking fellow here, and uh, here's his printing. You can see he does have a badge, so he is definitely a peace officer. He has a rather uh, mean look on him. Mean, he means some serious business there. He has this walkie-talkie. And you have two pilots. You have one pilot over here. His, uh, his helmet uh, shield comes, uh, his face shield comes up and down on his helmet. Uh, his face printing is, as you can see, he has a uh, he has sunglasses, and it's it's a two-tone, so I guess that is to uh, to simulate a glare. Uh, this is uh, this is his chest printing. I'm trying to get a good focus here, but it's hard to do. As usual, my camera never cooperates. And of course, he has his peace officer's badge uh, and equipment on his uh, printed on his legs here. It's a very utilitarian type of a flight suit, I presume. There's also back printing. Uh, for both pilots, uh, you do have this uh, life vest kind of a thing. I don't know what that is. I guess that's part of the, uh, the flight gear that they have. And same for his buddy. Except he's a little bit more cheerful and... Uh, Apparently he's probably the happy-go-lucky rookie. You know, has this uh, has the very same printing as his more serious counterpart. Put them back together here, so compare them side by side. Of course, uh, he also comes with a, uh, a mug here. I guess that's his uh, morning coffee, and probably why he's up beating his buddies like, uh, what the hell? You know, it's all about business today. The Ranger uh, comes with this uh, six wheeled, uh, I guess, uh, off road vehicle. like the box shows. Let me go ahead and that's him right there in the box. Now what's cool about his vehicle is you have these little cargo doors over here. That's where I'm keeping the spare parts. But the Ranger does come with a with a flashlight. Oh, I forgot to show the back printing on the on the Ranger. You can see that he he actually has a radio uh, strapped onto his uh, his utility belt back there. You can see, that. and then he has a wire coming up, I presume, so that he could keep communication, you know, through a voice piece. Which kind of begs the question: Why is he holding a handheld walkie-talkie in it when he has a um, 
when he has your standard police, police issue collar uh, uh, collar radio system. Let me put his flashlight in his hand, and there you have it. That's the rear, that's the left side cargo box of his, uh, his off-road vehicle. On the right side, let's put these spare pieces out, out of the way here. He, had, he has these uh, handcuffs. If I could get them out. There's two sets of handcuffs that come in, uh, that come in this play set. And they do function. There you go. I guess they could simulate uh, arresting each other. Get some practice. Yes, they could also simulate running each other down to arrest somebody and cuff them. Come back with my cup of Joe, you stole it. You're under arrest. Enough of that. Now for the centerpiece of this play set is the heavy lift helicopter itself. Let me turn around here. That's the front end. Here's the rear. You have dual rotors on top. Uh, this this helicopter, uh, quite obviously to me, uh, represents a Boeing CH-47, which the military uses today. Uh, I do not know if uh, any law enforcement around the world actually, uh, at, you know, employed the use of these uh, use of these helicopters here, but it actually makes a very nice representation of an actual CH-47. I'm very impressed with it. Even the rear cargo door, just uh, let me get into the playability over here. Even the rear cargo door comes down. And you could load and unload. It's hard to see deep, uh, deep down in there because of uh, lack of light. You could load uh, minifigs, uh, equipment. And actually, the Ranger in a six-wheeler could uh, simply back up into, into the cargo bay. Just like that. And uh, to to retrieve the, the six wheeler, you could open up uh, the side hatch right here and simply push him out. You know, push him out so that he uh, deploys out the back. Uh, set, this set does have uh, quite a bit of uh, quite a few a uh, few stickers on it. For example, the back of the uh, the Rangers uh, six wheeler. You have this uh, sticker that says HA four four three nine, four four three nine being uh, quite obviously the set number. The helicopter itself has a unit number on it, four four three nine on both sides. Getting back to the playability here. Actually, uh, uh, let me uh, go over the details here. You have a couple more stickers uh, here on the helicopters. I'm sorry, I. I'm jumping around quite a bit, so let me go ahead and tackle each each uh, feature in turn. Another sticker up here. Another sticker on the turbine intake on the other side of the helicopter. And more stickers on the other side of the uh, forward uh, pilot's cabin. Uh, you have dual rotors, and just like a Chinook, the forward lo rotor is lower down than the aft rotor, so as they both turn, they do not interfere and strike each other. And um, also to simulate what uh, what is actually seen on an actual CH-47, 
you have these uh, these turbine intakes on the rear of the helicopter itself. Very nice detailing there. Very good job on the set designer. Uh, you have wheels, four wheel sets that turn 360 degrees. And they do function. Let me roll it around on the table for you. Look at that. It's just like a shopping cart. Now let's go over to pilot's cabin a bit here. Oh, look at that. Uh, spare tire was thrown into the pilot's cabin there. You could see it through the front windshield. To access the cabin to put your uh, to put your pilots in and also to retrieve them to take them out. Let me get that wheel out while, while I'm doing this because it's just getting in the way. Oh, forget it. You have these uh, you have these cabin hatches to uh, to load in and uh, dismount your your pilots and of course you got two seats. We'll put in the serious pilot. Here he is. I presume this is the driver's seat. Just like that. Close the hatch. You could retrieve him just as easily. And now we could put his uh, happy go lucky rookie buddy into the co pilot seat. It's hard to do this on video and wouldn't you know I dismounted the seat inside the uh, inside the helicopter but what the heck and to put this helicopter into actual uh, actual use let's go ahead and load the Ranger six-wheeler in as well there you go The set is actually my very first uh, LEGO City theme set that, I, that I've ever purchased. I typically don't collect the LEGO City sets. Uh, I am uh, purchasing more of the LEGO Star Wars Clone Wars sets. But seeing this box on the shelves, I could not pass it up. And I guess that harkens back to my years in the military of seeing uh, the CH-47s uh, simply fly overhead. And I, I just had to have one of these. Um, I am doing this uh, review rather late. It is uh, December of 2012 and this is a uh, set of the 2012 lineup. So I'm assuming that uh, this particular set is, is due to be discontinued and uh, no longer in production probably by the end of this year. Uh, I'm assuming that uh, Legos will, will uh, replace this uh, set and uh, their other 2012 city set with their 2013 lineup. Uh, my initial impressions on this set is actually very high, and I do like the uh, I do like the representation. It actually uh, holds true to the military hel helicopters I was familiar with, and um, I look forward to whatever they will bring around on 2013. Um, well, this pretty much concludes my review on this particular set. If uh, anybody knows uh, anything more about these sets, or if I left something out, uh, please do comment below. Um, I don't claim to be an expert. I, it's been a long time since I was a child, so understanding the playability of these things, or what kids look for in uh, Lego sets or building sets of these days, I wouldn't be an expert on what would be considered uh, you know, a top-rated uh, 10 stars out of uh, 10. So. Uh, please do uh, reply below and fill me in where I'm missing out. Other than that, uh, this is it. This is Savage Jim signing out.